Blog Talk Radio. This is the Wealthy Wednesday Radio Show with Lucy McMonagall, helping you create a lifestyle and business that you love. Lucy is an intuitive success coach who specializes in assisting and training for lifestyle and business success. As a member of your own university and an associate member of the Women's Speakers Association, she brings over 20 years of serial entrepreneurship, internet business training, and financial training to the table. Lucy is on a mission to empower and inspire holistic entrepreneurs to become wealthier. Let's begin that journey together as we welcome the host of the Wealthy Wednesday Radio Show, Lucy McMonagall. listen to this radio show, I would love it if you would like our Facebook page at facebook.com backslash Wealthy Wednesday Radio. The Wealthy Wednesday Radio show is for holistic entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, sempreneurs, and small business owners interested in increasing their knowledge, their education, skills, abilities, and wealth. Today we have a very, very special guest, and her name is Lorraine Gordon. And in just a few minutes, I'm going to be bringing her on the line. Hi, Lorraine, can you hear me? Yeah, I, I actually, you sound a little bit, a little bit low for me. I wish I could hear you just a little louder, Lucy. But I'm so okay. excited to be here with you. Thank you. I really, really appreciate you coming on to the Wealthy Wednesday Radio Show, and I'm so honored that you have been such an inspiration for so many people. Oh, thank you. That does my heart good. That really does because, you know, really, the reason I do what I do, and and it's probably the same for you, is I wake up every day and I know my job is to inspire and help people, and I, I just, I have to do it. I'm compelled it's my mission. So when I hear appreciation like that, it, it makes it really worthwhile. So thank you. You're welcome. I am. Now, you're a best-selling author, a success coach, plus a radio host, and you're an expert in the fields of law of attraction, present moment awareness, and happiness. Can you tell us a little bit on how you got started in that area? Oh, sure, sure. You know, um, I'm doing what I studied because it's what I needed. I started as a kid uh, looking for a safe place to land and a way to have a little control over my life. And I came from, you know, a, a sort of an unhappy, not, not the best environment as a kid. And I was looking for a way to create. And I think I heard the concept universal consciousness when I was really young. And it inspired me to start, it just rang a bell. It's like I came in knowing, you know what I mean, Lucy? Mm -hmm. I kind of came in knowing that there was a bigger picture. So by the time I was 10 or 11, I was reading uh, Power of Positive Thinking, and and then it was Think and Grow Rich, and then it was Psycho-Cybernetics. So I read all the greats, and um, it's been my life, my lifelong passion and I turned it into a business when I realized I was doing it as a business anyway. I was just walking and talking what I knew, and people were having results. And I decided to begin to do it professionally, and that was, God, that was like 30 years ago I started professionally. But it's really been a lifelong thing. Oh, that's so fabulous. So this is, that's what got you interested in the metaphysics? Well, now the thing that interested me, I don't think when I started I even understood what metaphysics meant, but I did, as soon as I learned that word, I loved it, and I called myself a metaphysician. I was a young kid, a metaphysician, (laughs) but um, I was interested in things like what Norman Vincent Peale taught in Mm -hmm. uh, positive thinking. If you thought it, in his words, it was positive. Today it's law of attraction or it's uh, like equals like, you know, water attracting its own level. But I knew 
that if I disciplined my thoughts in a particular way that I could bring about a specific result. And it was so empowering because it worked. And when I saw it work, I never changed my life after that. I always used it. And with that, I brought a lot of, a lot of fabulous things into my life, including a huge amount of material wealth and a husband I've had for almost 35 years. Oh, that's fabulous. That's fabulous. <laughs> Especially in this day and age, I know it's not too many people married that long. True, you know? that's true. So is that one of the reasons why you say happiness first, riches will follow? Well, no, that's really not the reason. I'll tell you. Since okay. we have an hour, <laughs> I'll give you yes. the story. I was, uh, you know, I, I knew how to, I learned how to manifest and mm-hmm. or use the law of attraction long before we heard the word law of attraction, long before Esther and Jerry Hicks were here teaching that. And it was just called manifestation in those days. And I would have a thought, I would decide on a goal or something I wanted to manifest. And I would use my ways of bringing it into my life, which was very intense, hard work. It took a lot of energy, a lot of huge amounts of discipline and focus and concentration. But things appeared. My, you know, I had, I had a mansion at the time and boats and first-class travel and diamonds and, as I said, a very happy marriage, which luckily I still have. My son is very successful. But I was out in my hot tub one night in, in my gorgeous, huge backyard, and I was floating that's how big the hot tub was. I was floating, and I was using what um, visualization. I teach a lot of visualization. I'm really good at it, and my, cl- my students are too. But I was visualizing what I wanted to manifest, and that, at that time it was more, more houses, more cars, more money, more diamonds, more this. And I heard this huge voice, and it sounded like it came from behind me in the yard, and the, it was said so what? And I jumped up out of the warm water into the cold night and I looked around thinking somebody was there screaming, so what? And no one was there. And I shook it off and I laid back down in the, in the warm water and I started to try to visualize again. And I heard the voice again, so what? And at the time, I was too dense to get the very clear answer that I now have, which was, Hey, Lorraine, you've got tons of stuff. You're working like a dog. You're working so hard to get more stuff. So what? You're not happy, and it's not going to make you happy. But I didn't listen to the voice. You see, we've got to listen to our wisdom. And I got sick, and I spent a year in bed, and we couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. I could barely walk up and down my stairs. And finally, I started to get a little bit better, and a girlfriend of mine took me to India to be with my favorite mentor and teacher, Deepak Chopra. And on the way there, I read the book, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Are you familiar with that book, Lucy? Yes, I am. Well, the book changed my life. So I was reading the book, and it was so deep and many layered. Although if you've read the book, you know it sounds really simple. But Mm -hmm. I I studied it. It took us like 40 hours to get there. We had a layover. But I Mm -hmm. skipped one part of the book. I skipped chapter 8. And chapter 8 was the pain body. The pain body, as Eckhart Tolle describes it, now I, have a, I teach people how to, how, to, just how to rid themselves of their pain body. Uh, and it's so effective. But I decided that I didn't have to pay any attention to that chapter because having a very unsafe, sort of miserable childhood, I'd been through a lot of therapy as a youngster, you know, young teen and, well, a young woman. And I decided I didn't have a pain body, that I talked it all out. But I was miserable in India. I was very, very unhappy. And I came back to my room one night, and I was so angry, and I thought, you know, I, I didn't have to fly all the way to India to be sick and miserable. I'm going home. And I walked in the room, intent to pack my bags and go home. And the book was laying there on the bed, and I thought, oh, my goodness, I didn't read Chapter 8. And Chapter 8 really taught me how to release so much pain, psychic pain, emotional pain, that I had never let go of from my childhood. And I practiced it for the next three days. And I came home, my life had changed, completely changed. And I knew that 
first of all, it didn't matter what I had. If I didn't stop long enough to be happy and appreciate it, it was useless. So what if I had a bigger house or another diamond? But I was so busy getting more and, and another that I never appreciated. I never felt grateful. I was always on the hunt, on the prowl. So the book taught me to be present in the moment, and then I learned that was my secret. When I was present, I was happy. And strangely enough, the law of attraction began to work for me even better. So I always got stuff, but now I was Mm -hmm. happy, and I didn't have to work so hard. And that's how I came up with happiness first. (laughs) Oh, could you? So you you mentioned that you discovered how to remove the pain body, and you do this for a lot of your students. And yes. you came up with happiness first. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? That's so fascinating. Well, let me just take a little sip of water, and I will. Okay, so I have a program right now. As a matter of fact, I'm doing the pilot. And I started with a very small group of people. And it teaches, see, I've, I've always co- I've used to speak and travel the world mm-hmm. and as an inspirational speaker. And then I had my own coaching clients at home. But at this stage in my life, I don't care to, to travel anymore. And there are only so many students or clients I could take on as a private coach. And private yes. coaching is beyond a lot of people's financial reach. So I decided to create a program. Mm-hmm. And I did. And I started, I started it out as a small pilot group. And uh, inside of four months, my clients or my students now, this little group, will learn how to, how to choose happiness. You know, happiness is a choice. Yeah. I didn't always know that. I thought it was dependent upon my circumstances or, you know, whatever might be happening, but it's not true. I learned that happiness is a choice. So they're going to learn not only that it is a choice, but how to choose it so that, so that they're happy, so they're joyful, and they will have learned how to live in the present moment and how to fulfill their heart's desire so they wake up every morning and they feel excited to face the day and they'll learn how to live to be present in the moment. Do you know most of the time we're not even present? Yes, that is so true. We're actually, yeah, most of us are living in fear of the future or we're looking forward to the future and we're missing the present moment or we're in remorse about yesterday. And uh, living like that, creates one thing and that's unhappiness but when we really learn to be here present in the moment and this is what my students learn they're happy they're grateful and when you're in the present moment you know that's when you see that the coincidences i call them synchronicities and these are the ways that your higher self leads you to your greater good but when you're not in the present moment you're not available to the wisdom that we always have so I've created that program so that I can reach so many more people. And it's, it's working for them so beautifully. And if somebody wanted to start your program in the future, do you have a website that they can go to to find out more information? Yes. They can go to LorraineGordon.com, and that's L-O-R-A-N-E-G-O-R-D-O-N.com. And they can find out all about my various programs there. And, you know, I work as a – I do private coaching too. For, and I do, I do a, a short, um, like a 25-minute free consultation for people who may want to find out if it's for them. And I have very – you know, I have a few spaces where I do that every month. So if somebody wants that, they can find a place on my website to contact me about that as well. Oh, so interesting. So we're going to take a small commercial break to honor our sponsors. And when we get back, I wanted to discuss more about, you mentioned you talked with uh, Deepak, and that was one of your mentors. So right. Hold on I'd to love to. We'll be right sure. back. Okay. 
Join Lucy McMonagall, host of the Wealthy Wednesday radio show, every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Listen to excellent entrepreneurs as they reveal some of the tips and tricks they use to better their personal and business lives. To listen, visit blogtalkradio.com forward slash your own university radio. The Wealthy Wednesday radio show. Check in with your intuition. Hugs, empowering women to feel, look, and be their best. Sometimes we just need a hug and some inspiration to remember how great we are. I've been leading women who have suffered the pain and self-doubt that comes after abuse to their true beauty and power for decades. Tune in each Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 Eastern, when Hugs reaches out to you. Listen from your own computer at uscradioproductions.com. Learn more about me, Antika, and listen to past shows at AnticaLibby.com. That's A-N-T-I-Q-U-A-L-I-B-B-E-Y.com. Hello, and welcome back to the Wealthy Wednesday radio show. This is your host, Lucy McMonagall, and today we have a very special guest, Lorraine Gordon. And we were discussing her mentors earlier, and today we're going to continue. Lorraine. You mentioned you worked with Deepak and you had other mentors. Could you tell us more about that? Well, you know, I I, I studied with Deepak for many, many years, and he really was my, I would say, probably one of my greatest teachers. I have such regard for him. I just think he's a genius, beyond genius. Uh, and spending time around him, you know, I I was able to pick up so much. He's just beyond brilliant, and he to me he's you know that. And I I've been on the radio with Wayne Dyer, who is also uh, just a tremendous influence on my life. And then of course, as I said most recently, it's been Eckhart Tolle. But I started with you know Napoleon Hill and Norman Vincent Peale. I didn't meet those particular men the way I met my later teachers, but. Um, they may have even been gone by the time I read their books. I'm not sure of their longevity. But the truth is, truth is truth. It's never changed. And what kills me, what's surprising to me, Lucy, is they call this information new age. This is nothing. There's nothing new age about this. This is ancient wisdom. It just cracks me up that they use the term new age when you discuss these metaphysical principles. But they've been taught you know, <laughs> since time began. Yes, I, I have to agree with you there, and, and I, it does kind of crack me up when people say I'm, I'm learning the New Age stuff when when it's ancient wisdom. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. It's just, uh, it's just funny. It's so funny. But I do think that I came in uh, to my, my present life, and of course I am a believer in reincarnation, as um, a teacher. And I consider myself a teacher, even though I, I am a coach, uh, you know, today by today's lingo, since I do private work as, as a coach. But I basically, I am a teacher, and I have a gift or a way of giving, putting across the information in a way that my students and my clients are really able to grasp. And also, um, I've been given the gift of inspiration. So it's more than motivation. Inspiration mm-hmm. is so much greater because motivation doesn't last. But when you truly can touch somebody deep in their soul, and I've been fortunate enough to be able to do that, that lights a fire that stays with them. And the things that I teach, and you teach, obviously, mm-hmm. they are lifetime practices, and they work in every area to bring you more love and more happiness and more fulfillment in in there's just not a not a portion of your life that it doesn't touch. That is so true. And when you say you inspire people and it really it to me it sounds like you you ignite the fire that's already inside of them that just hasn't gotten a good good start. And when you I do believe I do mission, yeah that that really that kind of fills up the the lamp oil, as you would call it, for inspiration and and the glow lasts for a lifetime. It does. Uh, you know, that's my goal. 
and it comes very natural to, naturally to me. And as I said, I'm woke, I wake up in the morning and I'm compelled to do it. Some mornings, you know, my work is, is today it's very technology-based in that I do so much on the Internet so that I can reach a great amount of people. And, Lucy, that's not my thing. I'm, you know, I'm an inspirationalist. My stuff is spiritual and metaphysical, so I have to work really hard to get it out there the way people get their information today. Because as I said, you know, I'm not technology um, savvy. So some mornings I wake up and I think, oh gosh, you know, I don't, luckily I don't have to work. I don't do it necessarily because I need the money. Although I, I, I certainly like everybody else. I like to get paid, but when I wake up and I have that feeling of, gee, Lorraine, you know, you could just go out to lunch today. You don't have to work. Something inside of me says, oh, yes, you do. People need to hear what you have to say. You have to bring this to future students. They need to know what you have to offer. And I get up every day and I do it. That is so amazing. And it really helps a lot of us who are starting to fulfill our purpose and our calling to have that inspiration. So I'm sure just you mentioning that it's going to help so many of us. Um, well, you mentioned that you have the inspiration every day when you wake up. And what what makes your heart sing on a daily basis with that inspiration? You know, it's it's um, getting the thank yous and seeing the information, seeing what I do work. It's the amazing amounts of emails that I get from people who say to me, Lorraine, I've been listening to you. I've been practicing what you have to say. or I've taken your exact you know, um, advice and this has happened. I just had a client the other day. As a matter of fact, we just found out she got full custody of her child. She, she was in sort of an abusive marriage. And I worked with her in, on a law of attraction on how mm-hmm. to change up her situation so that she could get the things she wanted from her abusive uh, estranged husband. And he, she was afraid. She was afraid of him to be around her daughter, et cetera, et cetera. And not only did she get custody, but she also got a $3 million settlement. And I got to tell you, that made me feel really, really great because she got what we went after. And I got, helped her get it using the principles of manifestation and happiness first. So I worked with her on an energetic level and a, and a, you know, in, in a teacher's capacity, taught her how to keep her energy field high, how to continually reach for happiness instead of doing what so many of us do, and that is to take our problems out and spend our, most of our waking hours concentrating on what's wrong. And that makes us unhappy. And when we're unhappy, we bring in things that line up energetically with unhappiness. And that gives us more to be unhappy about. So I taught her how to acknowledge the fact that, that she had situations that needed looking at. And we don't throw them under the carpet and pretend they're not there. They're very real. But we don't alleviate them or fix them by focusing our attention on what's wrong. We focus our attention on the solution and on bringing happiness into our life. And I think a $3 million settlement was pretty darn good. Absolutely. That sounds fantastic. And, you know, that really helps her to move forward with her life also. Oh, my God. She, she, but the main thing was custody of her daughter, 100% custody. Her ex just kind of slunk away. He slunk away. She he has not even been in touch with her in days. And this was an abusive man that she was afraid to be around her child. And, you know, it wasn't, you know, wasn't legally known. She couldn't get a, a court order that way. It was his decision. And it, we really did create it by using law of attraction principles as I taught them to her. Oh, that is so, so amazing and it's such... It brings so much happiness to, you know, so many people just knowing that the law of attraction principles do, in fact, work when you apply them appropriately. So could you relay a little bit more about 
how do you have like a set format to to have the law of attraction or is that a secret that you have in your training program? Well, you know, on my Happiness First program, which actually I think I, I let you know it's like six modules, and um, and right now it's out on a four month it's a four month membership. So over the four months, they my clients and students actually learn what I take people through privately, um, and and I and and people feel a shift. They really do feel a shift the first time they talk to me. I really do elicit a shift on number one, not only because of the information that I give them, but I do believe that I touch an energetic switch within them and switch it up for them. Just, it's just something that it, it just occurs. It's magical. I believe it's law of attraction, and I believe it's an energetic gift I have been given so that I can help people. But it doesn't necessarily, necessarily last after just one session. That's why my private clients you know, stay with me for you know, a few months, sometimes just a couple mm-hmm. of months, sometimes even longer. But I have created it now so that I can do it in, in groups so it isn't so expensive because private coaching is, can be very expensive for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And so, okay. yeah, I do have my own methods. They're not a secret. They're very intuitive. But it's, it's a lot about principles. And the main principle is when you learn to be in appreciation. And it's, a, it's an it's old, isn't it? I mean, how long have we heard make your gratitude lists? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. true. Yeah. It works. Yeah, so true. But more important than that, Lucy, I think where I help them turn the switch is I teach them how to get in touch with what's going on with them. So do you know you can be angry or miserable or be thinking unhappy thoughts and not even know that you're doing it? It's so unconscious. It's so um, cruise control. And so I show my clients and students and and my class and the kids and my the kids. They're not kids; they're adults. In my classes, to recognize what they're feeling quickly, and when you recognize it quickly, then you have the power to change it. Because the whole thing is about feeling, isn't it? Doesn't that yes. what powers the law of attraction? Yes, that's that's what is what powers the law of attraction. So they learn that. And as they learn it, and they can keep themselves in that positive, happy frame of mind, they start attracting positive, happy things. And it's just phenomenal. I also just started a new program on on love for, so that to help men and women start attracting their perfect mates. I figure I've been doing that for myself. I've been happily married for 34 years. I brought my husband in inside of three months. I manifested him. I started, I created what I, I created some manifestation techniques specifically for a particular type of human being, which was turned out to be Harry, my husband. And I started mm-hmm. working on it the way I teach manifestation. And he showed up in three months. We were married three months later, and that was 34 years ago. And I started a whole love program, and I do have a free book that they can get. Um, I'm thinking it must be on my website, and if it isn't, I will make sure that – oh, yeah, I think it is. I will make sure that it is so that everybody who goes to LorraineGordon.com, if they register, they will get a number of free gifts. And if they look for the love program, they're going to get a free book – on if they're a woman, they get what men want, and if they're a man, they get what women want. Oh, that's fabulous. And you said that was LorraineGordon.com? LorraineGordon.com, L-O-R-A-N-E-G-O-R-D-O-N.com. And as a matter of fact, go to my Facebook page. My, it's on my Facebook page, which is either Your Happiness Way, or Facebook, Lorraine Gordon, and you can get a link for the free book right there, for the free love book. Oh, oh! all of our Facebook fans are going to be so incredibly happy. And they'll I have hope much so. Love. Yeah, Your Happiness Way, Y-O-U-R, just like it sounds, Your Happiness Way. Lorraine Gordon, your ha- I mean, Facebook, Your Happiness Way, or Facebook, my private page, which they're welcome to come to and, 
and you know ask to be my friend and I'll be happy to friend them but I did put the love link right there on that Facebook page too so um, yeah it's absolutely free and it helps you it helps with tips and tricks to attract that perfect man or oh, woman fabulous. it wasn't wasn't exactly um, I didn't know you had that. I was looking at your website earlier, and I was looking at your free tips, and I was on your Pinterest today, and I was I was so immersed in reading all of your, your happiness notes, and you even just reading your material, really, you can feel your that energy that you reach out and you touch people, and, you know, I could feel it deep inside me before we even talked on on the radio show today. So thank you. So kind. Of thank you, Lucy. Yeah, yeah, I have a blog there. It's your hap- it's on on my site and it's called Your Happiness Way blog. And I do a blog every single week and in some other area. You know, and uh to to touch people, to teach them in another way. I want to reach I want to reach as far as I can and Thankfully, the Internet is now allowing me to do that. And I, for your listeners, I just realized my love program is not showing up on my website, so find it on Facebook. Find it on okay. Facebook and just register there, and they'll get my free love books. And register on my site, too, to get – I have a free visualization book on LorraineGordon.com. And it gives a, just most of the tips and tricks on how to close your eyes and conjure up that vision of what you want to create in your life as if it's already there. And as a teacher yourself, you probably know that our brain does not know the difference between what we imagine is real and what is actually real. And therefore, when we put a picture, a very clear picture of what we want in our mind's eye, we go about the business of creating it unconsciously. So they can pick up that great visualization book. So I do urge them to get those those free products because I want to I want to give. Well, I definitely will be going to your Facebook page after this radio show and getting my own copy of my free of your free book. That's great. So exciting. So exciting. So you you have had so many different accomplishments and you have done so much for this world. Um, what out of all of the things you have done, do you have one particular accomplishment that you feel is your greatest? My son. <laughs> I would have to say, without any question, it has to be being a mom. Isn't that the great? Are you a mother, Lucy? Yes, I am. I am a mother, and, and I have to. Is there you anything with greater? Been raising a child, you know. I, um, my son's a successful television producer. He's Emmy award winning, and that's his that's his professional accolades. But he's a good human being. He's a great, loving, wonderful human being who believes in giving, and he's he's he gives. You know, he's philanthropic, and he has a wonderful wife who feels the same way. And he's just a very good person. And also, of course, he's. He was raised uh, steeped in my information and my knowledge. And what was really fun was watching him leave, the, you know, thinking it was ridiculous and it was stupid and it was silly, as, as kids do. You know, they, they don't necessarily take on your teachings at a point in their life and then come back to it and use it. And, bec- uh, and I believe that a lot of what he learned in terms of manifestation uh, is the reason for his tremendous success as a producer and as a human being. Oh, that is. So he that has is. to be my greatest accomplishment. <laughs> I, I have to agree with you there. And, you know, just him being able to touch all those people in his field, too, is, is so amazing. And yeah, you can it's true. see the, the chain on how you touched your son, your son touches other people. And I'm not sure if you've heard this about the law of attraction, but when I was in my 20s, I heard that when you raise your vibration, you reach up to 300 people in the proximity of where you're physically located. Have you ever heard of anything like that? I never gotten exact numbers, but I certainly believe in the ripple effect. So I, yes. I don't know the exact numbers, but I do know something that's really interesting. When I used to teach, I used to do breakout sessions for, you know, you know, huge auditoriums of people. And I would be on the stage and I would bring them through a meditation or 
the visualization. And I taught them how to expand their auras, you know, to breathe and, and to become brighter and brighter and brighter. And the transformation and the buzz in the room was just beyond. So I do know that we can rev our personal energy up to the point where we can affect. Well, I believe that if I become better, the world becomes better. I believe it's like a a homeopathic medicine. A, a, a drop changes, you know, a gallon of water. A drop, and yes. we're those drops, and we're very, we're all just so important, you know. As we change, everybody changes. And I'll, I'll tell you something else. And I'm I'm getting inspired by your questions. Thank you. That was a good one. Um, what I what I teach my clients and in my classes is that as you change, everything changes around you. So in other words, we don't have to change anything around us. We change. As we change, I'm sorry about the dog. All my regular listeners <laughs> know that I have two dogs, so I'm introducing, to my, I'm introducing my dogs to your listeners, Lucy. I hope you don't mind. One is Baxter. <laughs> And one is Kiki, and they're loud sometimes, so I apologize. But I, I teach that – I'm going to walk out the back door so you don't have to hear them so much. I teach that as you change, the world changes. So I'll have clients come to me, and they're unhappy about their marriages, for example, say. And they, they're mm-hmm. angry at their husbands, and they want to change them. They want them to be different. And, of course, we always start at this point. We're going to assume – that the husband is a good person. He's not beating you. He's not womanizing. He's not, you know, a drug addict. He's not a thief, and he's not brandishing a gun. So we're starting with the idea that he's a good man, okay? That you have some, some level of respect for him. Otherwise, you didn't, you know, why would you still be with him? So if we go from that standpoint, I have helped so many women come back to their happy marriages, recreate their happy marriages. And I've helped them to do that with the various methods that I use. But the most important method is, no, you don't change your husband. You change yourself. And as you change yourself, your husband changes. That's the magic. As we change, the people around us change too. Okay, so let me... Let me make sure I understand you correctly. As we change ourselves <laughs> from the inside, our outside, our world yes. changes also. Yes, yes, sure. like magic. It's it's absolutely. I love the word magic because it is. It's 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 magic as we change deeply, change and learn these principles and actually utilize them. Marriages improve. Wealth improves. Jobs become happier. Health improves. Everything. The people you attract in your life, social relationships improve. And that's why I started this new love program, because I know so many women out there and men are, you know, trying to attract love into their life and a, a lifetime partner into their life. Or maybe they're just trying to attract some fun dates. So I decided, well, I'm going to help them. I'm going to specifically create a program to do that. So I did. Oh, and that's that where they can get the free book. Yes. And it let us, just to make sure our listeners, if somebody just recently came on, you can get okay. the free book at um, your Facebook, Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com backslash your happiness way. That's Y O U R. H A P P I N E S S way, and that's where you can get the free books from Lorraine Gordon. And if you wanted yes. to check out her website, your website is lorrainegordon.com, and that's L O R A N E G O R D O N dot com. That's right, correct? exactly. Yes, fabulous. Well, we're going to take just a few moments for our commercial sponsors and then we're going to be right back and okay while we're taking the break i wanted you just to think about if the listener listening audience were to change one thing to improve their life what would you tell them but we'll, we'll say that as 
soon as we get back from our sponsor's break. Hold on. Ladies, are you one of those millions of women still suffering from the pain and devastation of divorce? 21 of the world's top divorce recovery experts will be available free at the Better Than Ever After Divorce World Online Healing Summit. Sign up today and access your free ebook, Living Again After Divorce, by Dr. D. Adio Moses at betterthaneverafterdivorce.com. It is free and you deserve it. Imagine having more time and energy to get everything done. Your body is in perfect proportion, your relationships are thriving, and you have enough time to dream. Would you like to know how to live that way? Divine in Nine is a full body, mind, spirit online wellness event that takes the struggle and drama that keeps you waiting to enjoy your life while you fix yourself and gives you the tools to live your best life now. No matter what your past might have you believe, you are divinely made and have a divine purpose. Sign up for our teleseries at AnticaLibby.com slash programs. Hello and welcome back to the Wealthy Wednesday radio show. This is your host, Lucy McMonagle. I really appreciate you listening today and I wanted to say thank you so kindly. Today we have a very special guest. Her name is Lorraine Gordon and she is quite an amazing person. She is a best-selling author success coach, radio host, and an expert in the field of law of attraction, present moment awareness, and happiness. Hello, welcome back, Lorraine. Thanks so much for having me, Lucy. It's really fun. You know, being a radio host, I'm usually the one asking the questions. And it's so fun being a guest. So thank you very much for inviting me. I'm having a great time. And I hope that I'm giving your listeners, you know, some tips that will help improve their life. And I do want to mention that they can find my show on Blog Talk also. It's uh, Blog Talk Radio forward slash Your Happiness Way. And I'm also on, on a bunch of other stations, Stitcher and, and iTunes and Blueberry, and they can find me on the net just by searching my name if they want to hear my shows too. Fabulous. Fabulous. So right before the commercial break, we were talking about if the listening audience were to change one thing to improve their life, what would you tell them to do? Okay, this is kind of crazy because there's tons of things I could tell them to do, and there's tons of quick tips. But you know what really rings really loud in my head as we're talking? And that's breathe. Breathe. It's crazy, Mm -hmm. but, you know, it's been said since time began, breath. Breath uh, attaches you or puts you in touch with spirit. And here in the West, we have not been taught to breathe deeply. So we're breathing in a very shallow way. But if we take the moment to take some nice, deep belly breaths, and I teach a 4-4 breath, and I I suggest that you stop and do this 4-4 breath at least four times a day, and your life will become better from that alone, just the 4-4 breath. It's a simple thing. We can breathe in public, and we can do it 24 hours a day, and it's free, and it's life-changing. That, that is. That's, now, I have never heard of the 444 breath. Could you get a little more in detail so I can make sure I'm doing it properly? Yes. If you want me to, I'll lead you through it. It'll take a couple minutes. Do we have the time? Oh, absolutely. We do have the time. Okay. Okay, great. I'll, I'll describe it first, so I won't do it. I'll just tell you what we're going to do, and then I'll lead everybody through the 4-4 breath. So basically what it is, first of all, for those of you that don't know what a diaphragmatic breath is, it's taking that air, that oxygen down deep into the bottom of your lungs, and that's, would you believe, down around your navel. So as you breathe in, so everybody put your hand on your, on your stomach, sort of near your navel. You know, between your ribs and your navel. And take a deep breath breath in. And as you breathe in, your belly should balloon out, which is very different than your chest heaving up and down and your shoulders heaving up and down. That's a shallow breath. So take that nice deep breath in and, and let your belly balloon way out. And then as you exhale, you contract your belly slightly and you empty the oxygen from deep inside of your lungs. 
And so the 4-4 breath is we breathe in for the count of four deeply, the belly expanding out. We hold that breath for the count of four. And then we exhale for the count of four. And then we hold with no breath for the count of four. And that is done four times each session. And that's the 4-4 breath. So if you want, I'll bring you through one session. Oh, that would be fantastic, yeah. Okay, so if you can, if you're in a place where you can close your eyes, it's even better. But if you can't, you can do it with your eyes open. If your people are listening in the car driving, do not do this. Because when you first start doing it, you can get a little dizzy. So don't do it driving, at least as a beginner. So let's start. Breathing in, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Breathing out, two, three, four. And hold, two, three, four. And that's what you do. And you do it four times each, each time you do it. And you try to do that at least four times a day. And that alone will create a shift in your life. Wow, I can really, really feel the difference. I mean, I Could feel you, so Lucy? much more alive. Yeah, yeah. Just and I just did one. I didn't want to do all four of them when when we're on being a host on the radio show. Right. <laughs> You've <laughs> got to talk. Really you can't just breathe things. right now, Lucy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We have to talk. Can't just breathe. But I'm <laughs> after I after I get your love books on your Facebook page, then I'm going to do my four, four, four breathing. And, and I'm quite sure <laughs> miracle and magic will start following me wherever I go. <laughs> you know, you know something. The, the breath is so wonderful, and it is life changing. And for those of, of your listeners who did it just now, I'm sure they they recognize the shift. It calms you down to begin with. It brings you into the present moment, and. It, it does some physiological things. It brings oxygen into your brain so we can actually think better. So on a very physical level, it's extremely good for us. So breathe. It's, so e- it's such an easy, easy shift, isn't it? It, it is. It is. It's, it's an easy shift. But like you were mentioning earlier, there are so many people who are taught to breathe with just their, their chest and you know, especially women in particular, because we've been taught that you always have to hold your stomach tight and, and you can't let oh, it yeah. lean out. And, you know. Sorry. That makes you wonder. That's, I, I think That's you're, so true. And you, I'll even stand in front of a big class and demonstrate that breath. And trust me, it's not pretty. you got to, you know, let your belly go way out. But come on, ladies. We have to breathe, don't we? Let's breathe. We deserve a good exactly. breath. We do. We do deserve definitely a good breath, and we deserve to have our hearts sing and to find the perfect love, even if you already have the perfect love, enhance that. Absolutely, and my free book helps with that. The free book helps with that. It brings about little reminders because... I have, you know, I'm tooting my own horn now. I have a happy marriage after 34 plus years. You know, there are little practices that I was fortunate enough to learn, and so I'm able to pass them on, little practices that create, you know, keep you um, attractive to your to your husband just by your attitude, by the kindness, by the fact that you, you learn how to listen. And so that book gives you those kind of tips that will actually help with your going relationship. As a matter of fact, I had somebody write me today who downloaded the free book, and she said she did one of the little practices that I had uh, you know, set out in the book, and she said her husband of three years called her up and was so excited by what she did. So it will help keep, a, keep an existing marriage alive, too. Yes, well, we definitely need to keep an existing marriage alive and to keep that fire going. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. You, Absolutely. you know, the other thing oh, – I'm sorry, Lucy, go ahead. No, I, in fact, you, you were probably already reading my mind. So what is the other thing? Well, it might not have been reading your mind, but I was going to say – you know, I told you about my client, my latest huge success story, 
that just, mm-hmm. you know, got a $3 million settlement from her ex-husband, and more importantly, custody of her daughter, sole custody. That was really of the utmost importance. But now she's, she can afford to, to take care of her for, her for life with the settlement mm-hmm. that she got and take care of her beautifully. But I created... A, uh, you know, I'm kind of an expert with creating manif- meditations, manifestation meditations and visualizations. And I created okay. a couple for her during our sessions that I was able to tape and give her so that she could constantly put herself in that place of manifesting the goals that she wanted. And it worked. It works like magic. That sounds fabulous. So is that when that's some of the tools that you give, you help people manifest uh, the life of their dreams and you help them live in joy by keeping them in the present moment. And yes. Could you explain just a few more seconds, a few more minutes about how do you keep people in the present moment or what kind of tips do you offer them? Well, I think that... What at first I do is I teach them something called uh, to get in touch with their observer. Their, your observer is, sort of think of it this way, if you have a muddy, you're a driver and your windshield is all muddy, mm-hmm. you don't know where you're going, right? You could fall off yes. a cliff, you could crash into another car, and you would if, you're, if your windshield was all muddy. But when you're in touch with your observer, that's a feedback mechanism. It's like your GPS. And it keeps you, it keeps uh, putting you in touch with where you are at and let you know if you're off course. So I start by, uh, my students and my clients start by, by asking themselves multiple times during the day, okay, what am I thinking right now? How am I judging this situation? How am I feeling right now? Because you know an emotion creates a physical feeling. So I have them at specific times in the day, very, very consciously, check in with themselves. And when we check in with ourselves, we notice that, hey, I was like lost in an old wound from the past. Or I'm scared about what might happen tomorrow. And that fear of what will happen tomorrow will actually create it. Because if you take a thought and you power it with an emotion like fear, that's a perfect recipe to manifest it. So it, it's very important to check in with yourself and see what you're doing. And then at that point when you recognize what you're doing, hey, I'm, I'm projecting a fear or I'm reliving an old wound, very consciously bring yourself into the present moment. Look around, notice what's going on right now, and then put your focus on something that creates happiness for you, on a part of your gratitude list, something that makes you feel good or appreciate, even if it's the blue sky or a blade of grass or the way your little puppy feels in your lap, anything to bring about happiness at that moment. And it's a practice, Lucy. It takes diligence. It takes effort. It doesn't happen by accident, but that's what I am able to inspire my clients to do. That's what my new program, Happiness First, does. And lives change, and they change for the better. Hello? Hi. I just recently got the oh, gosh. I apologize for that, but the show was still going live. Okay, good. I thought I lost you, Lucy. I, I it for some reason my my internet just uh went out for just a moment and fortunately I was able to get it back. Oh, so, good, good. Well, I kept talking. <laughs> so, hopefully, hopefully it wasn't dead air, right? No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. So let me, from where I left off, let me understand. So the thought is what you manifest with, and the feeling is what what protrudes it, kind of like a slingshot for creating manifestation. Is did I get? Did you understand you correctly on that? Well, I never said slingshot. I don't really know what you mean by slingshot, except oh, okay. that that would be maybe a target with a with a mechanism to hit the target. But that's not right. exactly how I teach it. 
But I teach, actually, I, through the methods that I teach, we magnetize your condition. So we decide on a goal, and then you become a magnet for that goal with the practices that you learn. In my course, Happiness First, Riches Will Follow, and, and through my private coaching. But I am encouraging more and more people to, to take my classes and my, my, my online coaching because, you know, in class, because it's just, it's more expedient and it's better. And I only have so many hours in the day. But I am doing my very first live teleseminar for my first group of, of students in my Happiness First program. So I'm going to be answering all of their questions, and I'm doing it this Friday. And um, the doors really have closed on that. But I will be opening again soon. So they will, you know, if, if anyone's interested in that program, keep looking at my website, get on my email list by subscribing and getting my free gifts, and you'll be the first to know when it opens up again. That sounds fabulous. Lorraine, I really, really appreciate you being on the Wealthy Wednesday radio show. And just in case the listeners are just logging in, your website is LorraineGordon.com. That's L-O-R-A-N-E-G-O-R-D-O-N.com. You can download her love program book on her Facebook at Facebook.com backslash your happiness way or uh, you can look up Lorraine Gordon on Facebook and um and get my free gifts. Like, yeah. Yeah. Get her free gifts. Get her free gifts. Is there anything else you would like to leave our audience with before we we wrap up the Wealthy Wednesday radio show? Yeah, I think just one thing and that is happiness is more a matter of how you perceive your life than actually what your life, what you think your life is or what the circumstances are. So when you learn to appreciate what is rather than bemoan what is not, you begin to create happiness. And when you're happy, life begins to work for you. And that's why I say happiness first. Fabulous. Thank you so kindly. Well, we're going to wrap up for Wealthy Wednesday Radio Show. I really appreciate you listening to this. And we'll catch you next week. Thanks for having me, Lucy. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. for listening to the Wealthy Wednesday Radio Show with Lucy McMonigal every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Join us next time for more in the way of expert interviews with excellent guests and entrepreneurship and business tips that'll help you better your personal and business life. For excellent resources and to personally contact Lucy McMonigal, visit LucyMcMonigal.com. Until next time, so long everybody.